Hi guys, how are you? This is going to be a quick tutorial about viral content theme. I was just a little lazy trying to um, make the best of my time. I didn't want to have to type all this in, so I'm doing a tutorial. I don't know if you've heard about viral content theme, but it's a great way to get some exposure for your articles. I have been using it for the last couple of months, and I have seen a definite increase in the traffic on my website. What it is, is you earn points to share other people's work and of course you get the opportunity once you've earned those points to use it and create your own projects so let's go take take a look so first of all you have to register and it's free no expenses there you do have the option to become a paid member which gives you more credits so i think it's five thousand and I don't remember the cost, but um, you can check that out. Right now, I'm using the free um, aspect of it, and it's just fantastic. I, I think it's like a paid-forward system, whereby you know the more you share other people's work, the more your content gets shared. So I don't think that we need to lose. Um, here is the dashboard. And you are going to see... My computer is a bit slow. There we are. So, on the dashboard, you have a category list. You know, whatever your niche is, you choose it. And just a little tip. Once you start um, earning credits, So once you start your initial project, if you give, I think, 30 points to start, your project will come on the first page here. Um, so I did another video where I've shown you how to get a project going. So let's just take a look here. Um, so this is the main page where everybody's project, once they use a minimum of 30 points, it gets up on the first page. Um, I add projects to affiliate marketing, business, and education, um, and, and blogging tips, of course. So let me give you an example. Blogging tips. If you notice, you have 10,000 items there in all the categories. But when you get more specific, uh, we have to wait on my computer. I think it's tired. You see now in blogging tips you have 2600 items. Now I'm going to give you a quick illustration of how it works. Now I choose you just browse it to see what you like. Now the first item is work good for me. So I'm going to go to Twitter. You have you can do four Twitter accounts. I only have one. And now I usually I have already scheduled some articles to be published. So I'm just going to buffer it. And that's it. And there you go. Your message has been added to the queue. Your credits will be added when the update actually goes live. So once they have posted my article, I'll get my point. That's one point there. Tumblr. I do the same thing for my Tumblr account. However, it's a little different here. You have to put in keywords. So I'm going to put business ideas. I'm going to put SEO. And I'm going to put content. I didn't spell it correctly. And then now I'm going to buffer it. Um, what else? Mix. Mix is the um, new stumble upon. Um, sometimes I add it to it, sometimes I don't. Um, what else? What other article? Ah, this is interesting. Oh, I did that already. Oh, here's a little tip. Once you have um use an article posted it for them see this little eye right there it says hide this project if you don't plan to share it now i'm going to go ahead and hide it because i've already shared it and what this does is make room for another project to show up so i'm just going to wait until that gets taken care of and then once that's hidden 
a new, a new article takes its place, basically, which gives me the option to share more stuff. And um, as you can see, I've shared quite a lot. Um, the mix, I'm still having a little challenge with sharing the articles from this site to mix. That's why you'll see I've shared everything else except mix. So I have to fix that. Um, what else is there? Um, how about this one? Let's see. Yes, how to share, how to save gifts from Twitter. Let's go ahead and put that on Tumblr, the tags and gifts. Um, what's another thing? Twitter. You look for the keywords and I will just add content. It's my favorite go-to word. And of course, I'm going to go for it. Uh, now I'm going to put it on Twitter. It says attach an image. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I just go ahead and buffer it. And Pinterest. Now you get uh, four points for sharing this. I'll show you again. So basically, this is how you share on Pinterest. Now this is about Twitter. I think I have a Twitter board. So I go down to my board. There we go. Twitter tips. I'm going to save it to Twitter tips. Once you save it, say see it now because now you need to get the URL as proof that you have shared it. Then you're going to go get the URL, copy it, and then you're going to go back. And if you see the pop-up window is there, you just add the URL of the article you just shared, and it says, share this item, earn four credits, submit. So now it says you've earned four credits, you can spend your new credits to get your own article shared. So basically, that's it. You know, just remember when you do a, a Pinterest share, you have to get the URL, submit it to the little box that's waiting, and then you get your points. So I've gotten 17 points already, 17 credits. And I just keep doing this. I do this for maybe five to 10 minutes each day just to build up my credit resources. And here are my projects that I have going. I have a few projects. I have 20 projects going. And the credits for all those projects, 855. How much have I spent? 567. I have 288 left. Um, so if you see it right here, the budget, like I just added that article. My budget is 30 uh, credits. I have 30 left. Nothing scheduled. It has not been shared yet. Let's see. I can show you something else. Um, like here. I've got 50 credits on this one, and it's been, I've used 14 already, so people like that article and they have been sharing it. Ideally and ultimately what my plan is, is to add, like here you see 20 credits, I try to get them all to be 50, so it gets a little bit more exposure. If you look over here, it says the um, article has been approved and it's currently running. Now you also have the option to put them in folders. Let's do this. As an example, let's put that in a folder. And I have a bunch of folders in here, so here we go. Put that in that folder, move. So now it's, it's in a folder. And that's just one way of cleaning up your act Facebook. So that's it guys, go out get your viral content fee account, it is so worth it. Um, I guess I'm going to have to do another video showing you how the, um, what the effect has been on my website in terms of exposure and views. But um, check it out, we've got so much exposure waiting there for you guys. All the best, be sure to leave your comments. Have a great day.